I assume you guys are probably getting pretty tired of watching snakes hatch on this channel, so today we're gonna watch turtles hatch! Tonight we were approached by an old co-worker of mine who had just witnessed a turtle laying eggs in her front yard, which is really cool to watch that happen, but her neighbor kids were trying to dig up the eggs. She tried to get the kids to stop, but they wouldn't, so she reached out to us asking what to do. We asked our local DNR agent if we could uh, incubate those eggs, and they said we could as long as we have our fishing license. So Ed and I went out and we bought a fishing license, and then she pulled the eggs, our friend pulled these eggs from their nest, brought them over here, and now we have these beautiful, nine, nine beautiful turtle eggs, and we're going to incubate them and then release them where they were laid. We asked the DNR if it was okay for us to release them because they were expecting us to keep the babies, which we don't really want to keep this many baby turtles, and they said we could release them as as long as they are incubated in a separate area from all of our other reptiles so they don't come into contact with any germs that they would then release into the wild. So we are going to incubate these eggs separately from all of our other eggs and we're gonna see what happens. The only problem is Ed and I have no idea what species these are and it takes about 45 to 90 days for most turtles to hatch or for their eggs to incubate so we're going to have to wait um, between six weeks and three months before we can finally figure out what these are. As you can see they were laid today which is it's July 7th and I guess we'll see you in around three months. <laughs> Today's the big day, guys. I just got back home from some programs and I put our soft shell turtle taco back into his tank and he splashed all over my shirt. So that's what that's from. But I checked the incubator and our mystery turtle eggs are hatching. I can't wait to see what they look like. It's been about two and a half months, so we've been waiting a long time for this and checking these eggs about every day recently. And today I saw a little flipper sticking out of one of the eggs. So we're gonna peek inside, see what species they are. However, we are not going to cut these eggs open because they are these are going to be wild animals. We're not going to help them out because if one doesn't have a very well de developed egg tooth and it can't hatch, I mean, that's not something you want in a wild population. So we're going to leave these eggs completely alone, just like they would be in the wild, and we'll see what hatches. Okay, let's figure out what species they are. I'm gonna guess they are baby snapping turtles. What do you think? I'm gonna say painted or reddered sliders. Oh, let's hope they're not reddered sliders. Those are invasive here. Yeah, otherwise we have to keep them and yeah. give them away. Okay. Adopt them out as pets. For the record, if they are red-eared sliders, we are not going to release them. They'll just get adopted out, I suppose, because they're not native to this area. So hopefully they're a native species. I'm yes. going snapper. Going painted. Oh my gosh, so these three, or maybe not that one, these two are hatching? Oh, look, it's a flipper! Should I turn this? Sure. Okay. Look guys, there's a flipper right there! Oh my goodness! Hi! Oh, was that a face? We've never hatched turtle eggs or incubated turtle eggs before. This is a first for us. There's his foot. What are you? Oh, is that his head? Oh, I see a little head. Oh, 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 I see your head. You're so shy. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. Or, oh my gosh, I can feel his shell. Can you? Yeah, it's like hard right here. I'm not used to that. Oh, that's crazy. I'm used to snakes. Oh, his head's coming back Come out. Come on out. Can I see? There's no way I'm going to be able to see your belly. Oh! Oh my gosh, look at your face. He is adorable. Okay, well, I guess I can't, I still can't tell because I'm not too familiar with just the striations on the face and identifying based on those. So, here's the, oh, <laughs> look at that. Don't touch me. <laughs> Go away. There's a foot, I, we breed snakes, guys. I'm not used to a foot I coming mean, out. Even when we do geckos, geckos come out head first. They do, they never stick a foot out. <laughs> Can I give you a little high five? Yeah. My gosh, look at them stretch his fingers. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, cutie. Oh, there's his leg. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so stinking cute. But what are you? Yeah, same thing. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't want to like force them out too early because again, these have to be strong enough to come out on their own, so I'm not going to help them. All right, what species do you think they are? Ugh. I think you were right on painted. I think they might be painted. I think they're painted, yeah. I mean, yeah, that head, that's totally 
Yeah, well, I don't see any of like the map turtle eyebrows. Yeah, true. That's what I was thinking is maybe a, maybe a map turtle, but yeah, I don't think there's enough lines to be a map turtle. But who knows what they look like when they're young too? I yeah. Don't know. Yeah, we'll look at them when they're all the way out. We can yeah. look at the plastron, which is the underside of the shell. And if it's red, it's a painted turtle. Ah, so we'll look at them tomorrow. Look and see if any of these little turds are coming out. Oh my gosh. The first one is out, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, he's so little. And we have several others that have actually started pipping as well. We have a foot. We've got a foot out. And then the other ones, this one, has pipped or it's broken open there. This one has also broken open and actually I think that's it. So we're still waiting on some others to come out. But here's the little guy. He's ahead of the rest of his group. Oh, scary cat. No, no, you're bold. Okay. I'm not gonna flip him over though to show you his belly or plastron because that'll give away what kind he is and we're not gonna tell you what species they are until more are out. So you might be able to tell what he is by looking at the top, but we're gonna show you and reveal it when more babies have hatched. Well, it's finally time for the reveal. We're gonna show you what they are. We have five babies out, little quarter-sized baby turtles. They are so stinking cute. And look at the belly. <gasps> These are Western painted turtles. So they have a little bit of their yolk still. That's what this little yellow spot is right here. And as they absorb it, it just slowly disappears. And when it's gone, they'll be ready for eating for their, for their first meal, basically. You can also see their cute little egg tooth on the front of their head. That's what they use to slice open the egg from the inside to uh, cut their way out. It falls off after the first few days, so that won't last very long. We have five of these cuties out. One, two, three, four, five, and oh, upside down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can you do it? First challenge of the world. Yeah, you can do it. You're gonna have to do this in the wild. Flip over, use that neck. All right, fine, there you go. So we have four more that are still due to hatch. This one has pipped. You can see his little egg tooth. We have three more here that haven't started yet, but again, we're not gonna help them because they're gonna go into the wild. So instead, we're going to move these five babies into this little container. Three, four, and five. And we are going to bring them outside and release them where or near where their clutch was laid. We're gonna find a pond nearby uh, where they were laid and let them go. All right, little guys. Oh, we found a nice spot as at a nature preserve near where their uh, clutch was laid and it's time to let them go. Here you go. We found a nice sheltered area too so they can kind of jump in when they're ready. There you go. Number three and four. Oh look at them go. And five. There. Oh, they're already heading right out to the to the pond. Heading out to the middle of the pond. They know where to go. Nice. Okay, don't become food for a predator. Grow it big and strong. When the rest of them hatch, we'll let those go too. Well, it's a few days later, and we have one more baby that has come out of his little egg. He's so little, just like the others. Still has go away, B. Still has his go go away. Still has his little egg tooth. Ah! Unfortunately, the other three eggs never did hatch. So I actually cut them open a little bit to peek inside and the three turtles were fully developed, it looked like, but they just must have died in the shell, which it happens sometimes. We weren't going to cut open the eggs and help them out because we don't want to encourage those with bad genetics to be added to the breeding population or the breeding pool, since these are going back into the wild. So we're gonna let this little guy go. Here you go, buddy. Same place we let the other ones go, which are gone, by the way. Here, you're free. Goodbye, enjoy your life. So before we end this, uh, this video, we'd like to leave you with just a little bit of food for thought. The first being, well, we wouldn't recommend taking a clutch of eggs from the wild and bringing them into your house. It's best just to let nature do its thing. We find though that if it's a human, like in this case, kids digging up these eggs or humans causing an issue with said wildlife, then it's more acceptable to take it into your own hands and help them out and then release them back into nature so nature can continue taking its course. Again, it was our friend who found this clutch that her neighbors kids were trying to dig up so she collected the eggs 
brought them to us, we incubated them, and now they're free again. But if you see a clutch of eggs that's not being disturbed by humans, then, I mean, that's a source of food for predators, and that's all part of nature. It's all the circle of life. If you do find yourself in this kind of a situation, though, it might not be legal to do this where you live, so make sure you check with your local DNR agent and ask them if it's okay before you actually go and do it. Like I said before, we actually went out and bought a fishing license as uh, required by our DNR in order for us to do this legally. And finally, if you are going to do this and it's legal, everything is good, make sure you do this responsibly. Make sure that the species you are taking into your care and releasing afterwards doesn't come into contact with any other reptiles because it might be able to pick up immunities to diseases or illnesses that it would then introduce into its wild populations. Another important thing to know is what species it is that you're taking care of because you don't want to release, say, an invasive species into the wild. If these hatched out and were red-eared sliders, we wouldn't be releasing them because they're invasive in our area. But that all being said, thank you to everyone watching today's video and thank you to all of our Patreon backers. We appreciate all of your support, every one of you. This was a very fun project for us and now it shows that we can hatch turtle eggs, which we've never done before. It was a very rewarding experience too. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you see him? Great. There he is. You see him guys? He's right there.